Well, it's not really the reality. You're not really the reality. Why? Like your show. Like when you're angry, like, oh, my coffee is like brown, but I want a black coffee. You're like, don't film me. <laughs> but it's a reality show, so. Tell them the truth here. Anyways, Ethan, what movie are we going to see? Uncharted. Uncharted? I thought we were going to see Marry Me. <laughs> no. Is it the best, best movie name ever? No. Who wants to see Marry Me? Not, Not me. me. All right, let's go. Let's go. What? To marry me? No, Uncharted. Oh. It's Tuesday. Tuesday's half off. It's the only day my wife allows me to see the movie. It's a half off day. Why is that? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> it's the only day I'm allowed to go to the movies is half off day. So we have to go to the two o'clock show because it's even a little cheaper. She doesn't allow me to go to any movies, any movies after five. Because five o'clock is more expensive before five is a bad today. So I have to go to the half off day at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> this is the only time I can go. <laughs> so Wait, could we skip the commercial? No. Let's not stay here. Let's commercial. Hey, what are you wearing, man? Key. Why are you wearing a key to a movie? You gonna fight the bad guys? <laughs> Let's go. I got the popcorn waiting for me inside. I had 20% off my popcorn today. It's the only time that my wife allows me to, to get popcorn. <laughs> it's all true, right? <laughs> What's this? Propaganda. <laughs> All right, we're stretched out. We got the blood running in our uh, in our clothes. We're ready to get the real workout. We're gonna hit this uh, elliptical. I like to do the elliptical because it's a little soft on the knees, but still get that cardio in. So. That's our goal tonight. Get that cotton in the Go a little soft on the knees. We got two times. I'm going to try this one. All right. So, Ash, you're going to get the front. You're going to get the front. Ethan, you can get wherever you like. And you guys think I can do 15 minutes on this? Uh, it's been a long time. No. Let's check. Yeah, well, they can't really hear you too good on the camera because his camera you can hear. My camera you only really hear my mic, so let's get started. All right, Ethan, zoom in on this here. Just let him know. I've been going on for seven seconds. Let's try and get to five minutes. And uh, Ethan, and the questions you have. You can feel free to ask me. And if you want to get in the front on that side, you can, or wherever you feel comfortable at. I'll stay here. You'll stay there? Yeah. So, what kind of advice should I give the people about diet and exercise? What kind of professional advice can I give people and help them with their journey to stay fit? You guys give me the questions you think people would want to know from me, the pro, and... Uh... Oh, you have a question, okay. How about you guys switch mics? I have a statement. You clip it right there if you want. Okay, what's your question? A statement. What's your statement? Yeah, as long as they don't follow you, they'll lose weight as fast as they can. As long as they don't follow me, they'll lose weight very fast? Yep. That's not nice to say. You don't think I'm a pro? Oh, no. Forget it. No. Look at me. Look at what I have to say. Fat people are the best dieters in the world because we've tried them all. We've been on them all and we know what doesn't work. We might not know what works, but we know what doesn't work. So I disagree with your hypothesis, sir. I think we're good people to ask. But I personally don't identify myself as a fat person. I identify as a very muscular, thin, lean, swimmer's body. An athlete? Yeah. I identify myself as an athlete, slim, swimmer's build. Uh, but 
if you are, if you don't, if you do know what doesn't work, then how are you not losing weight? First of all, I've lost a lot of weight in my life. Oh, no, you haven't. I have lost more weight in my lifetime than any skinny person has. So, I know how to lose it. That's for sure. But you know how to gain it better. Well, that's the problem. Because when you say, all right, I'm going to take a break from my diet tonight. Then, in the morning, you take another break. Lunchtime, you take another break from your diet. And even the time you say, I'm just going to fast dinner. Because I took a break now for yesterday, today, breakfast, lunch. So, I'm going to fast dinner. But then, your wife makes a really great meal. You say, all right, well, you know what? I already messed up today. Might as well just have dinner tonight. Then the next day, you wake up, it's day three. It has been four minutes, and I hope you take it Really? See? Now, this is the secret. What I'm demonstrating to you all is the secret to working out. The secret to weight loss. Get distracted by something. Because when someone asks you a question, somebody's talking to you or so forth, you're not worried about the time. It's already been, according to my treadmill, three minutes and 27 seconds, and I feel brand new. I feel like a, a baby's behind. I feel healthy and strong, and let's check my heart rate. I'm gonna tell you when it's five minutes. Okay, let me know when it's five minutes. All right. Let's see now it's now. All right, so let's see what my heart rate is. My speed is 30%. Okay, I'm gonna keep going though. For some reason, it's not telling me my heart rate. Huh. Not sure why. I like to see my heart rate. Maybe I have to quick start. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a quick start. So I'm starting now at four minutes point on the quick start. So what do you want to stop? Uh, I'm stopping one more minute. I have a uh, question. about 30 minutes? I have a question. 30? Hold on one second, Ethan. Yes, Asher? I have a question. If people wonder, um, have you ever walked outside without using gym equipment? Have I ever walked out? So how do you think I got to the gym? The parking spot is like 30 meters away. What kind of dumb question is that? I had to walk to the gym, didn't I? It's like 10 meters. And how do you think I got up the stairs? You did it. You used the elevator. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. Besides that, how did I get to the stairs? That's the question. No, I'm saying from like destination to destination. I just think he wants to argue. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. If you got a real question, fine, ask me again. I'm already at the one minute mark. So we're totally five minutes. It's right now, 6.37. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling energetic. How do I look, guys? Horrible. I'm not sweating yet, All right? Feeling good. I feel the pain here. Feel the pain here, zoom down, zoom. Feel the pain there and there. So getting it in the thighs. Haven't been here in a while. So, Ash, what were we talking about before that question? Uh, the destination destination one? Oh, no. uh, you said fat people know what doesn't work. Yeah, so, yeah, and then you say, okay, well, I've already messed up this week. It's been three days. We're just going to have a rest this month. And then next week we're going to start the break. serious diet. So that's the slippery slope. As you can tell... That's the problem. But, you know what? I don't give up. Get back on the diet. Get back in the gym. Get into the gym. Get on the equipment. That's an important step. So, we're here. Getting the heart rate up. Getting the blood pumping. Almost eight. Almost eight. I want to get to eight. I like to see if I can see what my heart rate is. Now. All right, that's a good, good eight minutes. First time back. No. You caught already? No. I didn't. First time back in the gym. 
upstairs on the second floor doing non-water workouts. Did half the time I usually do, but that's because I'm fighting the blood clot in my leg. It's was three feet long, so I'm not gonna push it. Let's go hit the jacuzzi, the gym, and get our way in. Look at who's trying to show off. You're trying to show off. Hey, when I was your age, no, actually when I was your age, I was 230 pounds, so <laughs> I can't say when I was your age. If I was thin when I was your age, I can do that too, show off. <laughs> Yes, you'll never be. Yeah, show people how strong you are, huh? <laughs> You're an extrovert, daddy. You, you just love, love to watch TV. That's my jiu-jitsu champion claiming that all I do is watch TV. What? No. What? No, you exaggerate, too. See, this is your extrovert personality. He's a white belt, two stripes. How, how many stripes he you got? Two. How'd he get two stripes? Are know. they selling those things now? No. He actually knows the moves? He'll choke you. What? Get off. Wait, what's that thing? What? That's a TV, so they can watch TV. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wait, is there like you can multi run and you could jog and you can walk? Yeah, and then you can also have it where it's harder for you to walk. It's like climbing a mountain. Oh, yeah. Oh, the stride. No, it's not stride. Stride is wider. The level. Level is a harder one, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lift up the level. Oh yeah, show big show off here. Uh, maybe seven. You think seven's okay? Try it. This is on seven. Yeah, these kids got a lot of energy. I'd rather them work it off at the house than in the living room. I mean, at the gym than in the living room. Work it off. Work it off. Come on. Get you ready for a nice nap. So, all right, we're at the gym. I just finished my little warm-up routine. I'm gonna go hit the aqua, aqua aerobics here in a minute. Do our weigh-in, week three weigh-in. Started at 5.07 today, I'm gonna to be much less excited about the results. Wait, do we have to film you swimming? No. Well, just the weigh-in. Just the weigh-in, we're done. All right. I will watch the video. You can't hear it unless you unplug this. I didn't. You gotta unplug if you wanna hear the video. Oh. There you go, now you can hear it. You're already in the driving section, nice. Turn the volume up here. Oh, my heart rate's too How do you see that? Use your eyes, of course. I couldn't find my heart rate. It's like 59. 59%. You're a beast. You're a beast on this thing. That's why you got those two stripes in, in jiu jitsu. The coach told me that he's the hardest working, him and his brother, the hardest working kids in the gym. 